the cars belonged to Oliver Jordan, who ran a salvage business in the city of Enid from 1945 to 1953, when he locked it up during a zoning dispute that lasted for years. Jordan never relented, and the cars have sat idle since then, most of them left outside to rot. The majority are from the 1930s and 40s, but the oldest is a rare 1917 Maxwell. Among the more notable finds are an aluminum-bodied 1937 seven-passenger Lincoln limo by Willoughby, believed to be one of five remaining of the 60 that were produced, and a 1937 Cord Model 812 supercharged Beverly sedan. Two 1942 blackout specials, a Ford and a Chevy, built during World War II, when the government put restrictions on the use of ornamental shiny metal parts, are fitting of the cache's low profile. A 1937 Terraplane Super 6 may sound like a flying car, but was from a short-lived brand produced by Hudson. It doesn't come with a hood, and you'll be hard-pressed to find an inch of it that's not corroded. The same can be said about pretty much all of the other vehicles. Nevertheless, Van der Brink Auctions is billing the event as a customizer's dream, as many of the parts from the once common cars are becoming rarer by the day. Jordan sold a few of them himself over the years, but not many. According to auctioneer Rivette van der Brink, if he invited you inside to see his secret stash, and you were interested in one of the cars, he'd make you a take it or leave it offer on the spot. No haggling or second chances allowed. Jordan died in 2003, and his widow died seven months ago. His grandson, who helped consolidate the cars from four different yards in recent years, is overseeing the sale of the estate, including the 1929 Ford model a wrecker that was Jordan's first tow truck.